Karis from Yeah, she said, I'll see if I can push it through okay. as soon as I can, the doctor said so. Right. She must have gone straight back and she did. got straight on the phone, right? Yeah, yeah. she did. We had to refer her same day. Yeah. The Richmond Response and Rehabilitation Team was commissioned in October 2013 by Richmond Clinical Commissioning Group and the London Borough of Richmond upon Thames. Richmond Response and Rehabilitation Team was formed out of three teams. The Hospital Discharge Team from Social Services, the Reablement Team from Social Services and the Community Rehabilitation Team from Hounslow and Richmond Community Healthcare. The three teams now work together as one team and all moved to one site at the Teddington Memorial Hospital in October last year. The team is a mixture of, of many different disciplines. We have social workers, nurses, occupational therapists, physiotherapists, therapy assistants, and we work with a dietitian and we work in partnership with a reablement provider for packages of care with a, with a rehabilitation focus. Um, so prior to the team being set up, a patient may have had visits and input from hospital social workers, reablement care workers, occupational therapists, physiotherapists, therapy assistants, all working in slightly different ways. The, with the exercises, this has helped me the most. I wouldn't be able to move around now without the exercises like I, I would I was before. Each person that's referred to our service will be allocated a care coordinator. The one care coordinator will be the main person supporting them and working to make sure that there's a coordinated effort to support them at home. The three main functions of the team are to support hospital discharge, community rehabilitation and preventing hospital admission where it's not necessary. Most of the people that we support are older people who have met a crisis. When we get a referral for a two-hour rapid response, we send out the most appropriate member of the team. Sometimes that's a nurse, sometimes it's a therapist, and sometimes it's a social worker. The service will support people from their moment of crisis or from leaving hospital or from their new need for community rehabilitation, anything from a few days up to about six weeks. As they progress through our service, we will support them to identify what their longer-term needs will be and make sure that they are linked with the community nursing services, long-term care services or voluntary sector services that they may need to continue to support them to remain safely at home and maintain the independence that they've achieved during their time with our service. This team has given us the opportunity to integrate that care so that patients receive a much more coordinated approach from one team under one manager. But I had no idea, you know, the enormous help there is. I mean, it's been quite an eye-opener, I have to say. Yes. 